What's going on guys? So today we have another dead MMO. This is Elyon. Now this is a game I did at first impressions on and I was not very impressed. I was actually very negative about it mainly because I found the quest experience to be very boring and just not fun in general. Um, but I was really shocked to see how low their player base numbers were. I checked the Steam charts recently and it's uh, basically a dead game. It's, it's really bad to see. And I really thought maybe the game could hold a couple thousand players, maybe a few hundred whales. But the fact that the game is already dead after about five months of release is a really scary sight. And it really shows that the MMO marketplace is actually doing very well. The fact that these lackluster MMOs really don't have a place on the market anymore. So first off, if you go to the Alien store page on Steam, you'll see that in the community hub, they don't even showcase a player based count anymore, which is probably a good thing. And then the reviews are missed. So you'll see the player base count over on the Steam charts, which is why I love when MMOs are on Steam, because they really show the raw numbers and you can't hide it. Now, granted, to be fair, there is a client side of Elyon that you play that is not through Steam, but the fact that like there's no way there's more than 50 to 100 players playing through that, honestly, at this point. So you'll see that the 24-hour peak for the Steam charts was 281 players playing this game. 281 for a massive multiplayer online. This is the definition of a dead MMO. There are zero players playing 32 minutes ago, which is absolutely insane. I don't know if that's like a bug or something, but that just sounds insane. And then during the launch of the game, there was a 15,000 peak player. So this game lost over 15,000 players. Now granted, when an MMO launches, of course, they lose some players. This is obvious what we've seen with most recently Lost Ark lost a lot of players, but they still keep a healthy player base. I believe it's at like 300 to 400,000 right now, which is amazing. Elyon has not even kept a thousand players. So you see right here, the drop off was huge. It launched in October and it dropped all the way to 3000 November. December 1500 and then all the way right into February went down to 500 players in the last 30 days We've had around 230 players playing this game So I'm not sure if you could even find a dungeon or a raid in this game I'm actually really curious to just check it out and see if I can find one But uh, why is this game so dead after five months of release like this is a new MMO and the truth is the game is just a really bad Terra clone It's not good at all. The combat is quite lackluster and yes, it is a free-to-play MMO, but Really, at this point, you have so much better options that this game can't compete. You have Terra, which is from the same studio, by the way, which is why people call it a clone of Terra. And Terra is still way better than this, and Terra is over a decade old. It, it's way better than this game in every way, especially the combat. Then you have Black Desert Online, which is basically free to play. It's like $5 to $10, and honestly, a lot of times they give it out for free. Then you have Blaine Soul, which is free to play. You have the biggest one of them all, Lost Ark, which recently came out, which is free to play. Like, this game cannot compete with other Korean MMOs. And this is what it's competing with. It's competing with other Korean MMOs. Most people will play like World of Warcraft or even something like Final Fantasy XIV is probably not going to check out Elyon. But the Korean MMO market where people are playing these different Korean MMOs, which I've listed, this game cannot compete with them at all. And the saddest part about this game is originally when it was called Air Ascent Realm, it was originally going to be like a steampunk type style MMO and it had some really interesting features like ship battles and like dragon cannons and like all these really cool things that were a new fancy setting that I've never seen like a steampunk vibe and they actually completely scrapped it and renamed it Elyon and then basically kind of just made it a Terra clone. So the game had actually some potential and it could have filled like some type of niche green MMO but with them just copying Terra and having a worse version of it it really showed that this game was not going to last and I feel like most people who even checked out for a couple hours like myself could tell that this game was not going to keep a healthy population because why would you play this when you could play five different Korean MMOs that are free to play which are 10 times better it just doesn't make sense let's check out some reviews uh, this one is actually a positive review this guy has played 300 hours that's insane I can't believe he went through this game for that long if you like Korean MMOs you like this game he said the quests are very boring yeah the quests are boring grinding korean style um so he said the story i don't give a f <laughs> i don't give a f about the story uh the pvp is pretty fun uh yeah the pvp is pretty fun the problem is it's kind of uh behind a paywall from the biggest whales paying gear uh gear progression well it's deep with many options but once again very rng it's a korean mmo so uh i don't really know what this guy likes about i guess he likes the combat I guess because most of it he said he didn't really care about uh, this one is another positive one he said nearly did pick this up because of the bad reviews but so far I'm having loads of fun Beta reviews down here he said I was very hyped for this game I was an alpha and beta tester 
The company was listening to the community at the time, and then after the release of the game started tumbling downhill, they stopped listening to the player base, they got the money they wanted and moved on. Sad to see. The storyline is garbage. I've said that many times. Storyline is terrible. They don't explain what to do in quests. Worth crap. I was so sad for this. It's supposed to be my replacement for Bless Unleashed after they made the absolute dumbest choice ever in gaming history and killed their own game. Yeah, a few more. The most fun I ever had with right clicking and uninstalling this game. Uh, cookie Cutter MMO. The devs left Terrace to die by Game Force to make one of the most boring and uninteresting MMOs ever made. Plus, it runs like absolute trash. I could survive a few months after launch. He survived a few months. That's pretty impressive. But yeah, that's really Elyon. It's uh, just basically to explain it, a lackluster MMO, and it just didn't last the test of time. It actually didn't even last a year. Five months, and we're down to 281 players. It's it's uh, not really surprising to see. And um, at this point, I really feel like for developers, especially like over in Korea, if you're making these like Korean MMOs free to play with heavy pay to win and RNG, if you're not going to bring something unique, you're not going to compete with Black Desert or Lost Ark or Blade and Soul or any of these MMOs that have been out for a few years that are Korean and have the RNG and pay to win but are just 10 times more polished, 10 times more fun combat, and just better overall. And really that field is so oversaturated already, you just can't compete with something so lackluster like Elyon. Honestly, I see this game shutting down. And really at this point, I don't really know why you would be playing this game because you're investing your time in the game that's most likely going to shut down or get such heavy pay to win milking from their few whales they have that it's just going to be unbearable to play for anyone who's free to play or doesn't want to spend a ton of money. So that's really Elyon. wanted to share my thoughts on it. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this. Are you surprised that Elyon is basically uh, dead? Do you think it could ever revive? Um, I just knew from my first impressions I put out, I'll leave a link to that below. Um, my first impressions are from a few months ago that I already knew the game just, it's not good.